So wait, when does Haunted Mansion go down? Six in about two weeks. Oh, it's oh, it's okay. Because tomorrow's going to go down first. That's right. You said that. About a week and a half to two weeks, switch back to normal. Oh, I know. Then Mansion will go down. Yeah. Be down for however many months they're doing that. Till spring, but, yeah. 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 That was fun. You know they don't make boat rides anymore. How come they don't make boat rides anymore? I they made one in Shanghai. They did, yes, they did. But it seems like such a perfect, uh, you know, concept for. Well, I mean, it's as good as an Omnimover, right? Well, if you heard uh, Bob Weiss in that episode of Imagineering Story, Pirates of the Caribbean, ours is a slow, boring. Talk, boat talk ride. about things that upset me. <laughs> this is the. This is the. I, I realize the context he's trying to frame it as. It's. It's. It's the. It, a, an audience that's looking for a thrill attraction rides that they find it boring. But I'm like. <laughs> well, by the way, he, I also feel like he thought. Okay, to give you some context, if you watch Imagineering Story, at some point, the, the top guy in Imagineering said that Pirates of the Caribbean it basically was boring. Yes. That, uh, that, that fans don't want, guests don't want a boring ride like Pirates, they want to have a bigger, better ride. And uh, the additional context is they were trying to do some research for what guests in Shanghai would Shanghai. want. So they brought some folks from China over here to see the right ideas here and yeah. what they think of them. And they wrote our pirates and we weren't terribly impressed because they wanted something thrilling. I feel like that. Was... So they were. So I, I get the context of his quote is supposed to be okay. If, if, the, if the that market wanted something more thrilling, so we need to. That's what we're trying to deliver. But and yet, but it comes across very. I, I know it's not the intent. But I was like, Probably that not. feels mean and flippant, and why would you say that? Well, and I feel like he was saying it because he thought he was being clever, or maybe saying something that might, re you know, hit a certain... Because there are there are modern guests who prefer e-tickets and, and roller coasters. Yeah, because uh, well, that's what's most marketable. That's what gets people to come to the park. It's like, well, you heard they have a big new ride, we gotta go see it. Not, but did you hear they have a nice calm boat ride through, through, a, through a period movie piece? Yeah. Like, that gets nerds like me excited, but that's, and I get here you could market it in a way that's exciting, but it's not as straightforward that for people to talk about, like, whoa, you gotta go see this. It speaks to the mindset, it. it speaks to the mindset of uh, executives, suits that think everything has to be bigger and better, and keep evolving forward. They don't seem to, in my opinion, connect with the concept that right here, Pirates of the Caribbean is doing brisk business 65 years later. Nobody's saying. 50. It just only has. Oh, that's right. It, I'm it thinking opening has, day. Yeah, my going has 50th anniversary <laughs> like last year. Let's yeah. Slow down. Uh, but what, be that as it may, 50 yeah, years is still, still a long yes, time. That's still a very long time for any ride to stay in operation and stay popular. Who here is saying that the haunt, that that Pirates or the Haunted Mansion are boring? Is anybody really saying that? Or do the crowds? Does this suggest to you that it needs anything more? No, right? So, Disney, you mentioned this before, uh, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. Disney forgot how to build a small ride. They forgot how to, you know, like Toads, or they, they forgot how to scale things down. It's either that, or it's just very hard to get those sort of ideas screened. It, it's it's, it's, one of, it's yeah. either they don't, they're, they're, they have trouble and this, really buying into the idea, or they have trouble selling that idea. And that's why I think that in order for us to reach the next level, of amazingness in theme parks, this has to come from somebody else, not Disney. It's going to come from somebody else who does not give a rip about audience polling or anything. Just like Walt, he didn't care. Yeah, he built his park, right? And that's why. I mean, it may have failed I mean, to some degree. You, uh, I, I'm never sure sure how to pronounce the park, but Efteling in Europe. Yes, like that. Their new Stark ride, Symbolica, which is very Mystic Mannery, but oh yeah, yeah. I'll have to look at that. Yeah, Symbolica is really. But we won't see. We will see. Park it. is really cool. After we that and uh, and I'm all. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. No, yeah, I think you got it right. Yeah, and that and Tivoli. Yeah. Um, but I think I think you want the next evolution in theme park design is going to come from an outsider. I think somebody who who I don't know if it's even possible, really. I mean, it can't always come from the same person. Like you got to best art comes when you get inspiration all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, this is busy, yeah, yeah dude. Standby, standby doesn't come out here very often. No, it doesn't. Since they reconfigured yeah, yeah. down there. I, I love it. Last week, it was, it was not only filling all this, it was out into the main walk. Dude, I saw that it was out in front of Rancho yeah. and all over the place yeah, when I was, I was like, here on uh, Saturday. Yeah, I was just like, oh boy, it's that kind of day. Whew. I mean, though, even when I came in in the morning, I saw security every single line out past most of the planners. <laughs> I saw your tweet on that, yeah. And it was like, oh, okay, I'll walk. I don't know where we're going again. We're just we're going to stay away from Galaxy's Edge until two weeks from now, Yeah. I think. Just because there's not a whole lot to talk about with regards to the land. <laughs> Which kind of <laughs> suggests a, a talking point about Galaxy's Edge. There's nothing to do, or to some to some eyes, I guess. Don't worry, I love Smuggler's Run, but and this is the trade-off with it not having Fast Pass, which I accept because I I'm fine with the lack of Fast Pass. Yeah. Is that because it's super popular? Yeah. There is a longer standby, so it means I go do other things. Plus, it's not like you can keep going in and buying another lightsaber or another droid too. No. Do you guys take turns with the Fast Pass? In case you don't recognize where we are, we're gonna ride the teacups just like that. I don't know what, this is one of those Disney win moments where I'm just like, I think Ian and I need to ride the teacups. Yeah. He did not disagree with me. No. It's always, it's, it's one of those I don't think about, but it's always fun. Yeah, yeah. Great visuals too. Yeah. This is a fantastic queue. It's underrated in the sense that because it's not a proper queue, it doesn't have like the whole thing, it's just metal railings, but all of this, this outdoor setting like this, I, I talked about this in a previous video, that the, the lived-in quality of this queue, the, uh, you know, the, the, I forget this word every single time. Don't say immersive. No, no. Trees and... Why can I not remember the word landscape? The landscaping of this, everything is very organic and real. It has a layered effect. The la yeah. I'm hungry. I'm dying. Guys. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I think we're in. Yeah, we made it. That wasn't so bad. I hope Ian picks a slow one. So how spinny are we feeling? What's that? How spinny are we feeling? Well, I would say... I know you're normally on the lower end. I'm usually on the... You're a spinner. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I liken this to... I always feel about this the same way I do after riding the swinging gondolas. Sounds like fun. In concept. Yeah, you last time, you had really forgotten what they were I, like last time. I did not enjoy our last swinging gondola adventure. But no. go ahead and spin. I'll do a little, I won't do, I won't do ludicrous speed, but I'll do a little bit of a light rotation. I don't want to go plaid. Oh dear. All right, guys. Catch. You can't get up, take it easy. <laughs> oh. I'm barely touching it. I know, I know, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> being very gentle, but I guess it still feels more than usual. I'm actually holding it still, because I mean, it keeps going back. Kind of like Roger Rabbit? Yeah, but there I do we go all the way and then to the end. Well, I mean, you can block Roger. Yeah. You can straighten Roger. Yes. Sort of. But I mean, to not be that defeats the whole point of the ride. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> It's I called cartoon, it's called Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin, not cartoon straight. Thank you very much. But that's just what a lightweight I am. Should we do Alice? Or should we do the double? We very well could. We should do the double, yeah. yeah. That's a thing, right? Yeah. Double feature of the same movie. What's that? A double feature of the same movie. Yeah. Bye, Ralph. Bye, bye. Bop, bop. Thanks for going easy on me, Ian. Forty minutes. It's a quick forty, yeah. if it's even forty. This looks like a lot of people, but it's actually not. Very brisk loading, this one.
Got lots more videos for you to see so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having we truly are the best of disney bake fresh daily don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you next time fresh baked